sababu siku za nyuma mwanamke kama mwanamke alikuwa hajielewi hata mikutano ya kijiji alikuwa haoni maana aki labda kama mtendaji atasema kwa fasi sana wanawake wataenda kujirundika kwenye mkutano ni wanasubiri tu ndio tu yani kichochote kitakachosemwa yeye anasema sawa naamini kuanzia hawa 30 ambao wapo watazaa wengine tena zaidi tutafailika Ko na shukuru sana pia kishenedi wametuinua kwa kweli wametutoa sehemu moja kwenda sehemu nyingine miaka mitano nazunguka na kesi Action Aid Tanzania has been contributing to the development of the country since 1998. Its vision is seeing Tanzania without poverty and injustice in which every person enjoys to a life of dignity. While its mission is to work with poor and excluded people to eradicate poverty and injustice. According to its country strategic plan that guides the overall direction from 2015 to 2018, program priorities consist of three strategic objectives. First, promoting sustainable agriculture and control over land and other natural resources, focusing on land rights and climate resilient sustainable agriculture. Second, governance, public and corporate accountability that encompass programs on tax justice, accountability and education. Third, promoting women's rights including women's social and economic empowerment. The 2016 annual plan was implemented at local level in collaboration with community members and partners in nine local rights programs namely Mafia, Bagamoyo, Unguja, Pemba, Kilwa, Tandahimba, Nawala, Chamwino and Singida where it has long-term development and partnership programs through Napaso, Shiviwaka, TYVA and Kinapa. At a national level, ActionAid partnered with various civil society organizations, networks and coalitions. In addition, the organization facilitated implementation of six donor-funded projects. ActionAid Tanzania priorities under sustainable agriculture and land rights focused on supporting smallholder women, youth and other farmers to gain access and control to the land and other natural resources. Nilipo atopo na mtoto wa kiume likuwa moja, mtoto wa mke mwenzangu waka niingiria, kuninyanganya, mashamba. Sasa nika ingiria kwenye barasa la kata, nika pewa haki, alienda kulima, usiku. Nika ingia kwenye mahakama ya mwanzo, nika mchinda, kachukua rofa, kuenda wilayani. Asa wilayani, ndipo, alipo kufa ume wangu, kikao cha familia kikaka, nikapewa na shamba yangu. Kwanda kulima, ndiyo alienda kunikatasa kulima, kukaanza upia tena. Nika ingilia kwenye mahakama ya arizi na nyumba. Ndipo ingilia arizi na nyumba, makajana likutana na watu wa Aidi. Ndipo, wakanichukua wakanipeleka kwa mkurgenzi. Mkurgenzi kawa wakamleta mwanasheria. Mwanasheria wakaunganika wakanipeleka kwa mkuu wa ulaya. Mkuu wa ulaya ndiyo kutuwa kutana na hakimu sijui hapo sijui lakini nika pata haki yangu. Kwa hiyo nilipitia kila aina ya nilipitia kila aina lakini nikapewa haki yangu Action Aid Intervention focused on promoting land rights to smallholder farmers and women by supporting them to adapt climate sustainable agriculture Accordingly the campaign for smallholders land rights in Bagamoyo continued in a year by empowering communities through the local task forces meetings organized by task force members and community representatives to push land rights agenda forward. New development registered in the year in this regard the government's decision to shelve the eco-energy project 
that has threatened pushing out communities, risking their livelihoods. Communities are empowered much as a result of sensitization made in demanding their rights, as a result of which attentions given to involve them has increased. Kama, kama wana kamati ya maswala ya alzi bagamoyo, kitu ambacho tunajivunia. Kwanza, kuona watu wame, wameza kusimamia haki zao kimsingi, lakini chapili kuweza kudai haki zao, lakini chatatu kuweza kuona serikali sasa imewasikia watu kilio chao, na kuweza kustopisha kwanza mladi kwa muda. Ilo nifanikio kukubwa sana kwa hivyo. ActionAid has worked with selected media houses so that demands are documented and shared. ActionAid Tanzania organized trainings and awareness, sensitization sessions on land-related laws and procedures for land acquisition where 200 smallholders farmers from Bagamoyo, Tandahimba and Nawala took part. The trainees disseminated the knowledge to their fellow farmers. As a continuation of supporting women to demand for their land rights, ActionAid has worked in collaboration with other civil societies, organizations and mobilized women across local rights programs toward developing cutter on demands. As a symbolic accumulation, women drawn from various parts of the country met at the mini Kilimanjaro event in Morogoro, discussed on their land rights and hundreds of them climbed Mount Uluguru as a symbol of commitment and raising voices to demand for their land rights. On the other hand, smallholder women were mobilized and organized and joined women from other countries across Africa to come together to Tanzania for solidarity and collective actions. Pan-African Rural Women Mass Assembly was organized in Arusha where the land rights issues of African women discussed and charted of demand was prepared and submitted to African Union and government authorities. The mass assembly was attended by 500 women drawn from across Africa. Among women, 30 actually climbed Mount Kilimanjaro to demonstrate their courage and commitment to continue the struggle until their demands are met. Ten of the women who climbed the mountain are from Tanzania. AU immediately responded to the demand positively. Kwenda mlima Kilimanjaro, ilikuwa ni ishara tosha ya kujua kwamba tule. Kitu nacho kidai uwezi kakipata haraka. Mana waliu pata mlima Kilimanjaro, ilikuwa ni siku tisa kwenda na kurudi kwa mana wamehangaika. Tukaona, hatuta ishia kwenye majukua na makongamano. Tukakubaliana tutengeneze asasi, tuunde asasi ya wanawake ambayo itakuwa ni chombo maalumu cha kuwasemea wanawake wote wa singida. Asasi hiyo tayari tumesha, ite, tumesha tengeneza katiba kwa kushirikiana na shirika lakshine diko kutuwezesha. Tengeneza katiba, tunasubiri sasa hili usajili. In furthering climate resilient sustainable agriculture, mentor farmers were trained on agroecologically sound farming system and maintaining soil fertility. Moreover, selected households were supported in Singida with assorted regime seeds to be cultivated for the purpose of improving soil fertility and adaptation of climate change. These farmers have started to apply agroecology practices. The purpose of this intervention is to replicate the model and influence the government to adapt it. Action aid ilituwezesha kwenda katika mafunzo. Mafunzo ayo tulia, tuliapata Malawi, ambo tuliangalia haswa swala la kilimo na swala la agenda kwa pamoja, ambapo nimesema ni kilimo mseto. Action aid ilituwezesha kutupa baisikeli, ambazo zinatusaidia sisi kama menta farmer, kutembelea wakulima wale selasini ili kuangalia maendeleo ya mashamba na kujifunza mada mbalimbali wakiwa majumbani kwao matokeo tutakayo ya pata watatamani na sisi tunapenda wengine wajifunze pia kupitia sisi Napenda sana kilima kilima cha mseto kwa sababu kina utibisha alizi Kanza kabisa ukipanda karanga na maragi kina utibisha alizi kwa sababu Karanga na maingi, ukipanda, utavuna wazuri. Zamani tulikuwa tutumi kilimo cha mseto. Sasa hivi tulifundishwa laku tukapawa mbegu, nyo tukapanda kilimo cha mseto. Kwa hiyo na sana 
kupenda kilimo hiki cha mseto kwa sababu kina faida nzuri. The trainees were linked to the fellow farmers to disseminate the knowledge and skills they gained. Moreover, smallholders farmers were trained on agricultural budget monitoring and advocacy. Trained women further reached more women in Sengeda and Dodoma and disseminated the information gained. Farmers were equipped with knowledge and skills on tools to track agricultural budget and expenditures as well as social audit. Kabla mradi huu kuja sisi kama wakina mama au wakulima wadogo wadogo tulikuwa tuelewi kabisa kwamba miradi ambayo inatoka au fedha hizi ambazo serikali inatupa kwenye sekta ya kilimo vijijini ni haki yetu kujua vile vile tumefuatilia na kuweza kugundua zimeingia ngapi zimetumikaje na salio likibaki linaenda wapi tulichagua mradi ambao tunaweza kuifuatilia ambao iko kwenye ambao iko kwenye ngazi ya serikali. Tulifuatilia mradi mmoja ambao ni Zabibu, shamba la Zabibu la Chilangali, kuona kwamba pesa zile ambazo zilikuwa zimetengwa na serikali kwenye mradi huu zilikuwa ni kiasi gani. Lakini tumeona kumbe kulikuwa na vitu ambavyo vilikuwa vinafanyika kienyeji kienyeji. Sisi kama wahusika wa kilimo tuko tunaona ni sawa. Ndivyo inavyotakiwa kumbe sio kama jamii yenyewe husika imeshaelewa na kujua sasa hivi kila mradi watu wanatamani kufuatilia na kuweza kuangalia kwa asilimia kubwa Under the governance and accountability programs Action Aid Tanzania has planned to conscientize women men and youth and their movements and CSO allies on tax and desirable tax incentives at local and national levels Accordingly series of trainings were organized and sensitization sessions were conducted those that attended the trainings and sessions were empowered on the ability to collectively engage government on fair tax policies and to regulate multinationals and other local companies. As a result of the trainings, 537 youth were engaged in campaigning for the allocation of 5% of local authorities' revenue to fund youth development activities. On the other hand, Action Aid Tanzania worked closely with the Tanzania Tax Justice Coalition and held discussion with Tanzania Revenue Authority over inclusion of tax component in school curriculum. Researches were also conducted to use the outcome for advocacy. Two of the Action Aid Tanzania partners, Tafa and Tawaro, were empowered to conduct social accountability monitoring in Tandahimba. Tafa, through consultative meetings, received capacity building to lobby government to timely provide subsidies, inputs to poor farmers. On education interventions, children were conscientized on their right to quality education through enhanced accountability by the government and other actors. A national stakeholders workshop was held in collaboration with TENMET to advocate education rights for people living with disabilities. Trainings were organized for school committees, teachers, parents, education officers, and school clubs members in which promoting rights in schools, PRS framework was applied. School clubs played a pivotal role in educating children on their rights. School environment improved in the areas of project implementation as additional classrooms Separate toilets for girls and boys and ramps were constructed on classrooms and toilets entrances to cater for disabled children. Kabla ya action aid kutujia mahai madarasa, nilikuwa na ngufu wa vyumba vinne vya madarasa. Sasa, baada ya kutujia ngea madarasa mawili, ngufu wangu sato mibaki, madarasa mengine mawili lakini nimeokoa wanafunzi nimeokoa wanafunzi 144 ambao sasa wanasomea darasa la 3 wanafunzi 77 na darasa la 4 wanafunzi 67 na jamii sasa imehamasika kwa maana kwamba hata uandikishaji wa darasa la kwanza na awali kwa mwaka 2017 na naona umeongezeka under the strategic objective on women rights priority 
programs implemented focused on preventing violence against women and girls, strengthening women's rights associations, and supporting women's economic empowerment. Accordingly, women and girls were sensitized to engage wider communities, religious and traditional leaders and institutions in fight against cultural norms and practices that perpetuated violence against women. Capacity building on leadership and gender responsive budgeting was conducted to women including councillors and local leaders. Trainings on women's rights, mobilization and facilitation skills were conducted in Kilwa, Mafia, Singida and Chamwino, reaching over 500 women. Action yeni imetupa mafunzo kugumbia ngazi za uongozi kupitia kama hivyo CDF. Pia action yeni imenipa mafunzo ya kugombia uongozi sasa hivi katika nafasi yangu ni mheshimiwa diwani katika ofisi yangu halmashauri kutoka wilaya ya Kaskazini B Unguja. In a year, four women rights associations were supported in various forms. These associations now serve as, as a platforms for women, for collective voice, and are engaged in influencing decision-making processes in their respective areas. Kwanza jimu yetu, kazi zake kuu, kwanza ni kuelimisha wanawake juu ya kupinga vitendo kwa uzalishaji, kwa kuhamisha wanawake, kuweza kupahamu haki zao, na jesigiani waweze kutetea hizo haki zao na kuweza kufahamu haki za watoto ili uzalilishaji kwa wanawake na watoto uweze kupungua. Sasa sisi tumepewa mafunzo mbali mbali na action kwa ajili ya kuweza kuzitekeleza hizi kazi zetu vizuri. Sasa katika kupiga kelele na kufuatilia hizi kesi mahakamani, maana tunafuatilia kesi mpaka mahakamani, tumegundua kwamba hapo mwanzo tulikuwa tunafuatilia, tumegundua kwamba watoto sehemu ambazo wana zinafanywa zile nini kesi zao za za watoto basi zinakuwa amuridhishi kwa sababu tunakuwa mna watu wengi ambao wanakuwemo wanashindwa watoto hata kutoa ushahidi wao kwa hiyo wale wadau wa maendeleo mbalimbali wakiwa mwa action aid unicef save the children wa wote pamoja na serikali wakaweza kukisikia kilio chetu na kuanzishwa ile jengo la la mahakama ya watoto mkoa kaskazini unguja kwa hiyo sisi tuna furaha kubwa kwamba unaona watoto wataweza kufaidika kwa kutokana na jengo lile pale kwa hiyo haya matokeo ya, ya udhalilishaji zidi ya watoto na wanawake basi yataweza kupungua legal analysis were conducted in Zanzibar reviewing some laws and identifying gaps as a result of advocacy initiatives between Action Aid Tanzania and other CSOs Children's Court was constructed in North Unguja and special judges were allocated. Mahakama yetu imeanzishwa kutokana na mazungumzo ya wadau mbalimbali wakiwemo Action and Aid pamoja na wadau wengine mbalimbali wanaoshughulikia masuala ya udhalilishaji au wanaopinga masuala ya udhalilishaji ya jinsia. Na watu wengine na wadau wengine mbalimbali katika jamii yetu. Mahakama hii inashughulika na makosa ya jinai pamoja na makosa ya madai kama vile matunzo ya watoto na malizi ya watoto walio chini ya umri wa miaka 18. Vile vile naamini kwamba kuanzishwa kwa mahakama hii Zanzibar kutapunguza sana masuala haya ya udhalilishaji wa kijinsia. Kwa vile mahakama hii itatoa mchango mkubwa katika kuelimisha na kurekebisha watoto walio chini ya umri wa miaka 18 kutokutenda tena makosa kama haya. Gender-based violence committees from Shahia level were strengthened and some areas were established to sensitize the communities and follow up on GBV's cases. Mkajani tulipata mafunzo kutoka kwa shirika la Action Aid na mafunzo ambayo ametuwezesha sisi kutoa elimu zaidi katika vijiji vietu vya mkokotoni wanajamii wametufahamu vizuri na wanazuripoti kesi vizuri tu kwa mba linako tokezea tatizo basi tunakafutwa tunakuenda na siti tunazafatiria kesi kwa sabu hapo mwanzo ilikuwa ataka mfono ilime mtokezea mtokezea basi hajui nini nafanya hata mfono mdogo kujuzi kuna mtoto wa miaka mitatu alibakwa na kijana wa miaka kama 21 hivi tukamchukua tukamweka kituoni tukaenda hospitali hospitali kufika kule lakini kadri mpoteza ushahidi lakini kesi mpaka sasa hivi iko polisi tunaifuatilia sisi kama wana kamati kushirikiana na dawati ambao ofisi yao ipo Mahonda elimu hii inatolewa au tunaitoa kwa kushirikiana na jumuiya mbalimbali katika mkoa huu na 
Lego zaidi ni kuona kwamba tunajaribu kupunguza vitendo hivi vya uvalilishaji ama ukatili dhidi ya wanawake na watoto katika mkoa huu. Na tunashukuru kwamba mafanikio makubwa tu yamepatikana e, kwa sababu sasa hivi jamii kwa kweli imekuwa na mwitikio mzuri na nimepata mwamko wa kutosha kuhusiana na masuala haya ya uvalilishaji. In Pemba, Mafia, Unguja and Kilwa, women were mobilized and trained on entrepreneurship skills. This has led to formation of District Entrepreneurship Network in North Unguja, which consists of 136 members. As a result of the entrepreneurship trainings, women's income is increasing, making a positive effect in the decision-making role at the household level. Kabla ya kuja action aid ya kupata mafunzo tulikuwa ni wajasiriamali wadogo wadogo tu tulikuwa bidhaa zetu tunafanya majimani kwetu hata hatuuzi. Yaani tulikuwa kwanza kwanza moja hatuitambui. Baada ya action aid pale tukapata mafunzo ya wajasiriamali tukajengiwa uwezo jinsi ya kuweka kumbukumbu, jinsi ya kuuza biashara zenu, jinsi ya kuprint nembo hizi. Unaona baada hapo tuka pata mafunzo ya kutambua na jasiriamali mkoa wa kaskazini action aid imetujengea uwezo tumeweza kuajiri wafanyakazi mashambani tumeweza kumiliki paka nyumba zetu wenyewe wafanyabiashara mbali mbali ili wanatambua siku ya soko wanaja kununua bidhaa zetu na kuwauzia kwa bei ya jumla on media engagement action aid has closely worked with various media outlets to showcase its work and advocacy on its mission works in monitoring and evaluation, mid-term review was conducted for the country's strategic paper 3. Also, monitoring and support visits were made to local rights programs, projects and partners. ME system and tools were introduced to staff besides assisting them developing ME framework. ActionAid Tanzania is a member of ActionAid Federation. It has General Assembly with 17 members and nine members national board. The board has three committees, Programs Committee, Finance and Audit Committee, and Governance and Human Resource Committee. It provides overall direction to the operations of the organization and plays an oversight role. The board is guided by annual board governance plan. In 2016, the board convened four meetings during which it discussed and decided on range of organizational matters, including reviewing the management performance in undertaking field visits and revising policies and procedures. The annual general assembly of the organization was done successfully in the year. The human resources and organization development departments annual performance focused on staff recruitment for vacant positions, facilitating staff capacity development processes, performance management, administration and logistics support as well as IT supports. The finance department has facilitated the overall financial management tasks, developing staff capacity on financial management, ensuring compliances and supporting partners. Fundraising is among key tasks performed by the organization in the year. By the end of the year, ActionAid Tanzania had around 9,000 sponsorship supporters in the UK, Italy, Greece, Sweden and Brazil. The sponsorship unity ensures these supporters are served timely to ensure funding continues. The organization also raises funds from individual and institutional donors. In 2016 alone, a total sum of 2,227,850,000 2 shillings was raised through selling proposals. Generally, the organization has allocated 2,233,539 British pounds for its 2016 annual plan and utilized 1,994,332, which is 89.2% of the allocation. During the implementation of the annual plan, some of the challenge encountered includes funding decline due to exchange rate loss, delays in fund remittance and releasing fund from donors, lack of efficiency in procurement processes, and delays in implementation of planned activities. Key lessons learned during the same period are 
Community involvement from onset of any program ensures implementation and efficiency and ownership. Working in coalition with like-minded organization is key for policy influencing. Strengthening our monitoring and evaluation system is needed more than ever before. Undertaking regular monitoring and support visits enhances implementation efficiency, active and consistency engagement in fundraising opportunities enables good achievement. Despite the challenges encountered, indeed 2016 was a year full of success. We believe the lessons drawn from the exercise will inform implementation of future plans and continue changing the lives of Tanzanians through eradication of poverty and injustice.